Attention. Welcome to the Pathfinder Guru Podcast and thank you very much for joining us. I hope that you're doing well and we are ready to learn. In today's podcast, we are going to talk about how to hand over a club. There is a great importance of us being able to hand over a club. You have been a director for a year or for two years or even three. And it's time for you to step out and somebody new to come and lead the club. Now, in most cases, what happens is that somebody gets elected, shake hands, and everything is left to that person. But sometimes you have noticed that when somebody new comes into the club and there is no good or proper transition between the current leader and the new leader, clubs have a problem of kickstarting and getting that momentum that they used to have. In most cases, some clubs die because there was no smooth transition from the current director to a new director. And today we're just going to talk about it and spend some time so that we're able to say as a leader, when it's time for you to step out, you've been working hard for a couple of years or a year, and it's now a time for you to leave and ensure that the person that is coming in will be able to continue where you left off. So that whenever there is a continuation in the club, the continuation is smooth, the consistency is there. Now, the first thing that you need to do as a leader when you are about to leave is that you need to ensure that you tie up loose ends. It is very much difficult as a director when you come in in your new position and you find out that the previous director did not finish a lot of things. Even if you had a lot of things and you couldn't achieve some, ensure that you tie up the loose ends, whether by concluding them or writing a report on them so that there is a notice or someone knows what happened to that program that did not happen or that program that's supposed to happen in the previous year while you are no longer in office. So that when the current director comes in, it is a continuation from where you left off and things become much more easier for him or her to say, okay, fine, in the previous year we had a program that was supposed to happen, but now it was moved to this current year. How can we find ways to deal with it? When you have tied up loose ends, it becomes much more easier for the new director to continue where you left off and things become much more easier. Secondly, have a file of reports and everything that you are doing. It is very much good when you report everything that you've been doing from meeting minutes, from programs that you are planning, from meetings you had with people in the community and phone numbers and contact details that you need to leave so that it becomes much more easier for the director that is coming in to continue. And also as a director, what is very much important is that when you are, for example, finding people that you're going to work with when printing your clothes or buying books, whatever the case may be, always use the church's name so that when a new director comes in, it's not because of the Pathfinder Guru but it is because of this and this church so that there's a continuation and you are building the church's trustability in companies and people that are willing to work with the church. So once you have files, once you have documentations, once you have the programs, the summaries, the downfalls, and everything is all packed into one file, when you do the handover, you give the new director the file. My director Here's a file, you go through it. If there's any questions that you need, please feel free to ask that question and I will be able to assist you because things become much more easier that way. But once you are not able to do that, once there is no file, there's no reporting, there's no minutes, it's just dry. It becomes much more difficult for the club to get back to that momentum of you as the director that is leaving. When the new director comes in, it becomes difficult because there are no default programs. There are no default settings that are already in place so that the director can continue. Because the goal as a new director is not only to implement new things, but to ensure that things which were there 
can continue and things become much more easier in planning and in executing new things and things that are already there because there's a file, there's a report, there's a system that is already there so that things are better. Thirdly, be there to assist during the transition. As I've said, you shake hands, thank you, good luck, and you leave. And something that is bad that we're doing. As a director, as an outgoing director, to a matter of fact, you need to be there as a mentor to assist where necessary. It does not mean whenever your term is over, it is time for you to give up and say, oh well, you'll see to finish. You need to be there to assist all the time, ensuring that if there's anything they need is the clarity. Sometimes you have to speak to certain companies because they know you. But in most cases, if you carry out the church's name properly, it does not matter who comes in after you because you have ensured that I am representing this and this of a church and we want this and this and if the church is consistent in their loyalty and in their trust and in ensuring that bills are paid on time and everything like that it becomes much more easier so you as a mentor because now you're no longer the director of the club you need to assist when necessary let us not do things and say no i'm done my time is over then you leave but you need to be there to assist let it be a smooth transition because sometimes children get used to you children love you and now it is your duty now to ensure that the director does not start from scratch the new director does not have to struggle with children you need to give them tips this child is like this this child is like that how to deal with this child so that things become much more easier because it does not mean when you step down it is the end of the world but you need to be there to assist and ensure that when all is said and done children are safe under the shadow of God's wings. It is not about us as directors or master guides, but it's about us serving the children and ensuring that all things go well with them. Thank you very much for joining us on this short episode where we talk about how to hand over a club because this is a very much crucial thing that we can do that will be a game changer in our respective clubs. You are dismissed.